Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Epi Info number 7, version number 7, to map different locations on a map. So in order to do that, first we need to install Epi Info 7. We can, uh, basically what we can do is that we can search for Epi Info 7 and we can uh, go on the CDC website and just click here and install it. So all we have to do is just go to here, enter it at info 7, click on the first version, number 7 download, click enter, and then just click on the setup and then follow directions. That is all that's needed. Once it's installed, this will be the icon. You can click on the icon to start Epi info 7. You can go on create forms. And then we need to start a new project. So we will click on new project. We can name this new project trial1 and then form name which will save your data will also be called trial1. You cannot, ha you cannot have any spaces in it so make sure there are no spaces in it. Hit OK and this takes a little bit of time for the App Info 7 to create a Microsoft Access account. Once that is done you will have this blank sheet in that you will go under under fields there will be under under trial one there will be templates and under templates there will be fields and under fields there will be geolocation you will just drag it out literally just click on it and drag it out once that happens remember it will not let you enter data so you need to click on enter data in order to enter data and then it will ask you a table has not been created for this form would you like to create the data table and you will say yes I would like to and data table name is going to be trial 1 and the starting ID is going to be 1 it will keep on changing as you, you add more data to to it and then it, the screen will go away and reappear and you will be ready to enter in data so first address I will add mm, I will enter will be of a really special place it's of the White House and once the address is entered here you ask the App Info software to go fetch us the coordinates so you will hit get coordinates you need an internet you need an internet connection for this to happen it will get you the coordinates, here are the coordinates for it, it will tell you that it's very confident that the quality of these coordinates uh, is good and you can hit accept. If it's not correct then you can say it's not correct and here's where, the, where it provides you with the source. We will hit accept for now. And then we will start a new record to enter in the next address. So new record and then I will enter in the address for Salas Center, which is St. Louis School of Public Health and Social Justice building. So 3545 Lafayette Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63104. And I will ask it to get coordinates again and it has given me coordinates, I will hit accept and I will enter in the new one, new address now, now this is the address of our famous monument, the Gateway Arch V-E-N-E St. Louis Missouri and you can see as you can see here I'm not capitalizing St. Louis I'm not capitalizing Missouri and Louis in St. Louis so and um, for here I haven't even entered in the zip code you don't have to have all the information just as long as you have certain amount of information you can hit get coordinates and it will get you the coordinates now the quality may decrease depending on the total number of text you, uh, total number of information you add in the address bar then if you add less information in the address bar then the co uh, the quality and the confidence will decrease over time 
but for now we can hit accept and new record now we want these are the total number of addresses we wanted to enter so now we can just hit map and it's mapping now and what we need to do is it has given us a map this map currently does not contain our data so what we need to do is we need to add our data on top of we need to add the layer of our data on top of this layer of the map so we go and add that we go to add data layer and then say and then click on plus case cluster when it asks us to use uh, external data we hit no and in latitude field we hit latitude and in longitude field we select longitude and now we can as you can tell it has selected Washington and it has selected St. Louis so we can zoom out a bit and you can zoom out by clicking here or just rolling your mouse back and forth it's easy to do either way and this seems to us like one ball but it's telling us it's two in fact and we can zoom in on it we can zoom in on it through here or just by clicking your mouse and it will tell us that there's two different locations we will examine them for accuracy first we will examine the gateway arch where it's located so let's check the arch this is the parking lot for the arch so the arch itself should be nearby and indeed here is the arch you can see the shadow of the arch here and here it says the gateway arch this whole hunk of steel itself is the arch itself and now we can zoom out and go to the school of public health building which is located on Lafayette Boulevard and here we have St. Louis University Hospital and here on Lafayette Avenue is where the School of Public Health is now we will go ahead and look at the White House here's Washington DC here's the White House here's the White House lawn here's the White House itself and here's Pennsylvania Avenue right here so this concludes this tutorial all you can do is just you can just save it once if you want if you don't want to save it you can just discard it you can save it as an image if you like that's all you need to do all right thank you for listening and I wish you lots of luck in mapping and happy mapping now